welcome everyone to the award ceremony for the 13th annual Emoticon Youth Digital Media and Technology Challenge. We are the Emoticon Steering Committee. Uh, my name is Mikkel. My name is Amanda. I'm El Tomas. I'm Meredith. And I'm Marcus. This year was our biggest emoticon of all time with 145 creative technology innovations designed by over 450 New York City middle and high school students and teams throughout the whole year. As usual, it was almost impossible to select winners this year, but our judges deliberated frantically and were able to narrow it down to five winners and 10 honorable mentions. Without further ado, our first award is for Best Pitch. This award is given to a project that displays superior design documentation, storytelling, and project demonstration. And the winner for Best Pitch is... <laughs> Remote Rewards Chrome Extension, an app software project by students from the Mouse and DIIT Design League program at IS27 in Staten Island. Remote Rewards Extension incentivizes students to participate in remote learning by assigning points to activities. These points can be transferred to homework passes and local store gift cards. Congratulations, uh, Remote Reward Chrome team. Um, the judges really thought that this was a really well thought out uh, project with real world problem um, and great teamwork putting an awesome pitch together. Congratulations. Next award is for most social impact for a project that makes meaningful change within a local or global community. And the award for most social impact goes to the momentum of a butterfly. Women just want to go and fly. A video project created by high school students from the Education Video Center. This documentary was conceived, written, filmed, and edited by students drawing on their own experiences as members of different national and cultural communities. It closely examines gender discrimination, violence, and inequality in order to fight back against the structures that perpetuate it. Congratulations to all members of the team. You did fantastic work. Big congratulations to the Momentum of the Butterfly team. The judges really love this project. We felt like it really has the impact to teach people about a really important issue and spotlighted some issues that really affect women all over the world. And we were especially impressed that you did it all virtually. Um, super, super great work. Congratulations. And Gus says, hello. The next award is the most innovative award. The most innovative award goes to a project that combines creativity, ingenuity, and forward thinking design or production. And the most innovative award goes to Fantasy Neighborhood, created by the 44 students at Beam Center. Fantasy Neighborhood is an interactive website that explores creating digital spaces. Fantasy Neighborhood integrates mixed media, including drawing, sculpture, and claymation to collectively represent their imagined neighborhood. Congratulations. Congratulations to our most innovative project, Fantasy Neighborhood. We really connected to this project emotionally through the stories, the places, and the identities in this imaginary world. We really love the use of analog and digital media to create these beautiful renditions of space, identity, and belonging. Very well done, congratulations. The most entertaining award is for the project that engages users in playful or artistic ways. The artistic award goes to a teen's diary about mental and emotional health by Litsa, a high school student from the Mouse and DIIT Design League program at Bronx International High School. This digital art project is an expansive half book, half diary, encouraging teenagers to make themselves heard and share their experiences with depression and isolations. Congratulations. Congratulations to a teen's diary about mental and emotional health. We are very impressed with this project. The thought and care put into every design element resonated in the finished work. The writing was unflinching, authentic, and honest. Congratulations. Keep writing. The final award is for the Point of View Award for a project that reframes issues, interactions, or experiences in a way that enlightens the audience. And the winner for the Point of View Award is Anti-Eviction Mapping Project, an open data project by students from CS4ALL at Bronx Academy for Software Engineering. 
Anti-eviction mapping is an open data project that maps the number of evictions taking place in the Bronx as well as New York City as a whole. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations to the anti-eviction mapping project. Uh, we're, we really liked your approach and the idea of creating maps that show the number of evictions that are happening in real time in the city is an innovative one and we think it could impact people's lives. So good work. Congratulations to our five winners. Our judges had a really hard time picking just five of y'all, so we wanted to highlight 10 other amazing projects that are runners up and deserve an honorable mention. Our 10 honorable mentions are <laughs> Admirers of Life, FHO app, Food Help Organization, MS358Q student app, the Dr. Foodie app, South BK mutual aid app, Alert Me, The Animal Adoption Game, What is a Healthy Relationship, Our Environment, and No Pain, No Board Game. Congratulations, y'all. Thank you to all 450 students who presented the technology and media projects at this year's record-setting Emoticon. Your ideas and innovations were spectacular. Thank you also to our amazing panel of 50-plus volunteer judges. Thank you to the teachers, the after school facilitators, the parents and mentors who supported the students throughout this super challenging year in isolation. And thank you to the thousands of community members, peers and family who left emojis and feedback on each project. We can't wait to see you all again next year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.